Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 13th. So, yeah, just going to see what comes up. Hangman Reverse, Temperance and Strength. We got three cards. All three of them are majors. So this is the universe. The universe has something planned. Okay, it's time for a change. It's time to accept and allow that change is needed. It is definitely time for a change. We have somebody here that is refusing to change. This is somebody that is struggling to let go, that is obsessed with control, not learning a lesson. This is somebody that is very egotistical. Okay, this is somebody that will not change and enjoys control. Likes to be in control. So this is a very controlling energy right here. But change is needed. Okay. So everything happens for a reason. It's time to ex time for a change. Okay? It's not going to be easy. A lesson needs to be learned. So there's somebody needs to learn a lesson. They haven't learned it yet. They haven't learned their lesson yet because this person is refusing. I'm not going to change. No way. No way. But this is and this is overdoing it. Moderation is needed. We have somebody that go is gonna go overboard. Okay. Somebody needs to find the self discipline to change. But it feels like they're unwilling to. They need to. But they're unwilling to. Now, it's not going to be easy. Now, there's some, there's a, a need to uh, evolve. But we have somebody here that is fearless. This person is fearless. And very, very stubborn. So we have a very stubborn individual here that needs to change but will not change. Mm. Let's see what we can get. We could be dealing with a Pisces, Sagittarius, or Leo. Struggling to let go. Of ego. These are both ego cards. So somebody is really struggling. But there is a need to, to cooperate and blend and, and uh, accept. We have somebody here that is very strong-willed. Ace of Pentacles. Now we have a golden opportunity here. This is manifestation. This is stability, security, a gift. There, so there is an opportunity here for long-term stability. Abundance. Something you can touch. So this is a golden opportunity to change because that is change but it's gonna take strength and willpower and discipline and determination we have somebody that needs to be able to balance they need to be able to balance out a couple of things you know but I feel like they go overboard moderation is needed I don't feel like that mm -hmm. death Death. So death is an ending. It's a profound life change. Somebody is struggling to let go. And that death is about letting go. Now, there is a change that is coming. 
You're going to have to be strong. Okay? You are going to have to be strong. Death is a transition. It's a transformation. This is a separation or a loss. Intemperance comes after death. The need to accept. Somebody is going to need to accept an ending. But it's going to be a huge struggle with that hanged man reverse. That's a, that's a huge struggle. Struggling to let go. Refusing to go in. Not learning a lesson. Somebody isn't learning a lesson and it's not good. They're going overboard with that temperance card. They, you know, there could be some addictions here. And they love to be in control. So there, this is like a golden opportunity to do something. Um, five of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles is needing help. Somebody needs help. But they won't accept help. We got somebody here that will not accept help. This is like a social outcast. But this person has chosen to be an outcast. But some this who, this this person that is if they're taking some sort of opportunity right now. What are they doing? Knight of Swords moving very, very, very fast. Now, the Knight of Swords is somebody that is on a mission. Okay, this is somebody that is very direct, very assertive. Uh, this person is a risk taker, is fearless, definitely has no fear. Somebody is taking, feels like they're taking something into their own hands because that's what the, the Ace of Pentacles is, taking something into their own hands. Now, this is somebody that is obsessive, that is very clever, very sharp. This is like ready to fight. We have somebody here that is ready to fight. You know, they're ready to fight. They're coming in really, really, really fast. They, they're they on some sort of mission. This is like an attack of some sort, the Knight of Swords. It is. Look at that. That guy, it's, this is like somebody that is ready. They are, they've got something on their mind. They've got a plan. They've been told what to do. Or they've come up with some sort of plan. And they're taking action. Okay, so this person is ready to do something. Okay, definitely. So somebody is ready to do something. This person is uh, has made up their mind. They've made up their mind. But that death, that death is a separation or a loss with a new beginning to follow. I feel like we have somebody here that is on a mission, you know, to, uh, it's almost like give somebody a wake up call. This is a wake up call. It really is. Two of Wands reversed. So there could be a sudden arrival with these two cards. It could be, a, you know, suddenly, suddenly somebody arrives. It's unplanned. That's a delay. The Two of Wands. There's been some sort of delay, but I feel like the delay is over. Now somebody has decided with that Knight of Swords. They may have been indecisive, but this is like a change. Somebody may have changed their mind. This is interesting.
There's something very sudden here with both of these cards. This is a sudden change. It's a sudden change of some sort. A sudden decision. Spur of the moment decision. Somebody's making a spur of the moment decision to do something. They're fearless. There's, per there's no fear here. Definitely somebody that is very fearless. But there is some sort of... Uh, well, we definitely have somebody here that is struggling. They're struggling because of the, the hangman and the, this five. This person, these, or if it's people, it could be people. Somebody is struggling. They're struggling with their mentality, right? They're struggling with abandonment. They're struggling with accepting help. We have some, and this is a needing to accept. So somebody needs to accept, but they aren't accepting. I feel like we have somebody here that is very smug, as well you see the look on that person's face it feels like we have somebody here that is is extremely smug we have a very courageous individual here as well this person is very brave a risk i think we have somebody here that is about to take a risk they're going to do something risky I think it's spur of the moment. It's definitely spur of the moment. It, uh, it's probably not wise, whatever it is that they're doing. I feel like there's going to be a conflict. I feel like there's going to be uh, a disconnection here. I think there's going to be a separation. With the lover's reverse next to the death card, there's going to be a separation. Be prepared. And this could be all of a sudden, suddenly somebody decides that... You know, it's time to go, and that could certainly be the case, but the lover's reverse next to the death card reverse is a separation. It is the end of a contract. Somebody has been hanging on to a false contract. Now there's about to be a change. I think it's going to be a swift change. Things are going to change really, really, really fast. Somebody could be coming in to break up the contract. You know what I mean? It could be an outsider of some sort. Um, we definitely have a very egotistical individual here. We do. This person um, is unwilling. They are unwilling to listen to any advice, unwilling to get help, unwilling to budge, very obsessive, very controlling, only sees things from their own perspective. It feels like this person um, is overdoing it. They're doing something. Uh, lover's reverse is a separation of a contract, the end of a contract, breaking up next to that death card especially we definitely have some disharmony here an imbalance and balance is needed seven of swords reversed oh my god so this is uh, scheming somebody is scheming uh, this is high risk, okay? This is uh, somebody ignoring advice. Somebody's not ignoring a warning, okay? Somebody is not listening. The Seven of Swords reversed. There's There could be some slander, uh, lies, deceit. Uh, somebody that can't face the music, that can't face the, 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 the consequences. Um, illegal. Somebody could be doing something illegal. There may have been some cheating or some, some sort of deception here. Getting caught. Somebody could be getting caught. We ha I feel like we have somebody here that has no conscience. They don't care who they hurt. And I feel like they're making a spur of the moment decision to do whatever it is that they have on their mind. 
They may be coming back, whatever that means, or they got some sort of plan. They're scheming. So we got some, we have a schemer here that has, it feels like this is somebody that doesn't have much of a conscience. This person may t be taking a new approach. There is going to be a separation. I feel it. I mean, there is with the death card and the lover's card. There's death with the lover's reverse. There is going to be a separation. Somebody has been uh, probably sitting on a fence. They've been thinking about what their next move was going to be. Thinking a lot, but struggling to let go because of fear. But they are going to be letting go. They are going to be taking action. They're ready for a change. They need a change. Somebody is going to be taking an opportunity. It's like it's right in front of them. They have to take it now. It's like I got to take this opportunity right now. The time is now. Time is now to take. I have to do this right now. That kind of thing. We talked about that yesterday, didn't we? Anyhow. With the lovers reverse, we we have we have a conflict. We have disharmony in a connection. That 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 connection is about to end. We have we have two people that are not meant to be together, that are together. Okay, that's the way it goes. But there's going to be a separation. Okay, somebody may be escaping. Okay, they may be making a getaway. Just saying, they may be uh, you know skipping town or something like that. Um, We have a very, uh, I don't know, this is a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. I think that you need to be careful when you get the Seven of Swords, whether it's upright or reverse. This is be careful. Okay. Um, King of Wands, Reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, this is somebody that is, is self-centered, unreasonable, doesn't listen. This could be a tyrant of some sort. This is the person. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It's fire sign energy. This is somebody that is fearless. And I feel like this person is uh, angry. Somebody is angry. I mean, the King of Wands in Reverse, somebody that is very angry ruthless unreasonable has some sort of plan to break somebody up and I feel like uh, it's male or female as well it could be a man or a woman um, we have somebody here that is feeling neglected they're feeling abandoned they're feeling very lonely but they don't want to ask for help. So they're looking for some sort of attention. So I feel like they're going to uh, take a golden opportunity right now uh, to separate a partnership because that is what this is. Somebody is taking an opportunity to separate two people. You know, that's what I see. Um... Whether it's yourself, I mean, it could be you taking that, you know, opportunity. There is a golden opportunity right now to uh, be brave, all right? So bravery is needed here because that is the strength card. That two of wands reverse. We have somebody here that has been staying put, right? Deciding not to go. They've decided not to go. And I feel like now they're realizing that they need to go. You know, they need to go. They need to separate. You know, this isn't, this isn't where they need to be. You know, I think it's a, I think it's a change and I think it's a sudden change. This is like, it's time to go. 
and we have the chariot on the bottom of the deck that is getting in the driver's seat, taking a ride, going someplace, moving forward, finding the mental strength. So we have a very determined individual here. This person is determined to be successful. Anyhow, I, I feel like uh, there's some risk. Somebody is taking a big risk. They're taking a big risk, and I feel like whatever they're doing is... Uh, does lead to a new life. It does lead to a new beginning. It does uh, lead them down a new path to healing because after death comes, comes the, comes the temperance card, which is the healing. So I feel like this, whenever this resonates with you, and that's that I feel like uh, we have somebody here that is about to uh, do something very, very risky. This person um, is refusing to uh, listen, re listen to any advice. Um, they're taking an opportunity there. I think, feel like they're angry. I think we have an angry individual that is on a mission to separate. Uh, a false contract, however that resonates with you. Good luck.